Last year, a select group of Ulsterbosi's pre-university New Visions Advanced Robotics and pre-university New Visions Health students were handed a huge challenge, designing and manufacturing a device that would solve a real-world problem. The result? These two distinctly different groups collaborated on designing a robotic therapy glove to aid stroke and traumatic brain injury patients suffering from hand paralysis. I mean, this is something that hasn't been done before. Uh, most of your exoskeleton hands are tethered to a big computer or something else. We're looking to do something that's very small and compact. So we're trying to add both, uh, make a, a less bulky version, a more portal version, and one with abduction and adduction, which is um, moving your fingers open and close. The challenge is part of a $10,000 grant competition for high school students offered through the Lemelson Foundation and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Ulster Bosis was one of 14 schools nationwide selected to receive the grant. The team recently presented a prototype of their exoskeleton glove during a mid-grant review. The purpose of the presentation? To show parents, friends, and the local business community where they were in their progress. And so my part was basically kind of figuring out what, how the hand works, um, how the hand works with paralysis and paresis, um, how the hand works after a stroke and what goes on during a stroke that you need to understand, um, which helps with the, the making of the hand. I've helped with ideas and um, the mechanical design. Um, for the actual joints that will be moving the hand. I have been working on design and prototype mostly uh, and research and sort of been trying to make, um, we have two prototypes going right now, uh, both of which are kind of working simultaneously to try to make like the most minimalistic uh, uh, and like le least invasive product we can. Harris says this project has taught the students some very critical life skills like problem solving, being persistent, and time management. It was a struggle in the beginning. We really had no idea where to begin. Um, uh, but over time, we really got accustomed to what we were doing, and um, it, was, it was tremendously exciting realizing how much of an impact we were going to have uh, with this project. I mean, definitely sort of um, don't underestimate a task. I think at the beginning of the year, we were all like, oh, of course we can do that. I don't know why anyone hasn't done abduction yet. I know we can do it. And now, half of the year, I'm like, do I have really any idea how to do abduction, adduction? And I'm kind of getting it to work, but it's sort of like, it's definitely a bigger task than I thought it was. The most difficult part was um, probably finding out how we can connect all of the engineering along with the health to make something that actually works. Harris said he is very proud of the team, emphasizing the fact that the group has been meeting after school and on weekends. He says he's certain their hard work is going to pay off. Definitely a resume builder because I tell the kids all the time, there's going to be a lot of kids applying for college with high SAT scores from all over the country and the world. What sets you apart? I think building something like this and doing something out of the ordinary will definitely set them apart. Next up, manufacturing the final product and showcasing it at Eureka Fest, held at MIT in Cambridge, Massachusetts this June. The Ulster BOCES Invent Team includes 15 students from eight different school districts from across the region.